Hi, I'm John Vittoro and welcome to Dinner for One, A Single Man's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a fantastic recipe called Mongolian Beef. Now the reason why I'm showing you this recipe is because I've hit bullseyes after bullseyes every time I serve it to my guests. I'll serve it as either a side dish or a main course. Super easy, super basic, serve it on top of some wonderful aromatic jasmine rice. Mm. Uh, the, I wish this was smell-o-vision because what's going to be happening here in a couple of minutes is, is insane the aroma is going to come off. So let's get right down to business. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to be buying a really good cut of flank steak. Now flank steak is not the cheapest meat out there but the way that we're going to be doing it we're going to be cutting it a quarter inch strips. Okay, we have all of our flank steak cut. Once again, quarter inch thick strips. So our meat's ready to go. Let's break down the dry ingredients. Next phase. A quarter cup of cornstarch, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of fresh ginger, minced, one tablespoon of garlic, minced, a third cup of soy sauce, white soy sauce or low sodium would be best, a third cup of water, a half a cup of brown sugar, I like golden or even dark would be great, and a quarter cup of scallions or green onions, cut approximately a quarter inch to a half inch lengths. So next step is how do we get this flank steak ready to put in the fryer? Simple. We use our cornstarch, add it to a Ziploc bag. This is so simple. And then we add around three to four pieces of the beef. Give that a little bit of a shake. Two, three, and four. Zip it. it. Don't get any easier and less messier than this. So you're going to just do this back and forth, back and forth. And what you want to do, you want to coat that meat all around with the cornstarch. Okay, so we have the beef in the bag. Shook it around in the cornstarch. Next step is to take it out. You want to give that beef a little bit of a shake so you don't bring a lot of that cornstarch with you. And that's what you want to have. Lightly, kind of like seasoned or breaded in cornstarch. I'm going to place it on the plate. I'm going to do the remaining to the beef. I'm going to be placing it on the plate and I'm going to let it rest for around five minutes before adding it to the pan. Okay, next up we have our pan on the stove, medium high heat. Get it to the proper temperature before adding the oil. Do not add oil to a cold pan. It just doesn't work properly. So we have our uh, vegetable oil, quarter cup. We're gonna add that to the pan. We're gonna bring that to heat. Next step is adding the beef. Okay, it's a little noisy right now because we have the fan going, but as you can see, the oil's starting to smoke. We're at the right temperature. You're not gonna overcrowd the pan. If you overcrowd the pan, you will not be able to brown the meat. So in it goes. In it goes, in it goes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna brown it to the point it's it's a little bit more than golden brown on one side. We're gonna shake that around in the, in the oil. Meat is done, we're letting it rest for around three, five minutes. Letting any excess oil fall to the uh, Scott towel underneath. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our dry ingredients in the saucepan, next level. Now it's time to add the minced ginger and the minced garlic to the pan. You want to saute these two ingredients for approximately 15, maybe 20 seconds, but no longer than that. Do not brown the garlic, it'll add a bitter taste to the dish. Next step, the wet ingredients. Soy sauce, water, and your brown sugar into the pan, stir it around, let it sit there, let it make friends with the ginger and the, and the garlic, do its thing for another five, maybe seven minutes. Starting to boil here, so we're ready to start adding in the meat. All the meat's been added to the pan, it's starting to come to a boil. This is an ingredient that you don't have to put in, I like a little bit of heat, some Thai chilies. So I'm just going to come in, sprinkle this around like so, get it all in there. I like the heat. 
Once again, stir it around. Wait around one, two minutes. You want that sauce to really start to thicken. As you can see, it's, it's starting up. How we're gonna plate this, simple. We have our jasmine rice, like so. Take a piece, over, and we're gonna just drape it. Just drape it. That's all you're gonna do. And just drape it, just like that. Another piece. And you're just gonna drape it. So what you're doing right now is you're trying to make it seem so enticing and so attractive that you can't help but want to have this in a final drape. You're just going to stack it like that. That looks nice. Now what we're also going to do, we're going to take some of that wonderful sauce that we have in the pan. Look at that. That's pretty much it. That's all you have. Mongolian beef. Try it. You're going to love it. You're going to make it for your friends. If you have anything else that you would like to see me cook, feel free to go on my YouTube channel, see my recipes, send me a message. Uh, for this one, I, I, I got it. This one goes out to all the people that have been having dinner at my house and, and trying this. And now the secret's out. So, hope to hear from you again and uh, tune in to another recipe.